So in this demo, I'm going to show you how to use the bend modifier. It's extremely easy to use, so this shouldn't take very long to show you. So let's go ahead and start off with the cylinder. I'll modify those parameters in a little bit, and a torus. So first things first, let's make the cylinder a little bit taller. Torus looks good. So now we're going to look at the number of segments, because segments and sides are going to be important when we're working with the bend modifier. So press F4 on your keyboard to show your edges. You can also go back up here and make sure edged faces are checked. And that's going to show you the segments on your objects. So the more segments that I have, the more refined or deep my mesh is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this cylinder um, at 28 height segments and 18 sides. Um, you can change the height to whatever you want. And I'm going to add the bend modifier. So this orange gizmo pops up, which shows you um, where the bend modi what the bend modifier is going to deform, which is obviously the cylinder. So I can go ahead and change the angle, and I can get this cylinder to bend pretty, pretty nicely. So if I bend the angle right here, um, I can also change the direction of where it might go. Kind of cool. Um, I can also change the bend axis. So if I want to bend that cylinder along the Y, along the X, um, it depends on what kind of shape that you want. So I'm going to keep it on Z. And I'm going to show you what um, this cell looked like if I didn't use as many segments with the bend modifier. So let's go ahead and copy it. Hold on Shift and drag along the X. And then copy, not an instance or a reference. And then delete the bend modifier here and decrease the number of segments. Let's put these at 8. Um, actually, let me do this. And decrease the number of sides down to 12. So I think it's fairly low poly. So this bend, I'm just going to change this to 140 and 20, so it's a number. Let's do a bend modifier on this at 140 and 20. So you're going to see here, I'll turn off the edged faces, but this is a lot rougher, you can see some of the edges here, and this is smoother. So the uh, higher number of segments you use is going to give you a smoother result. Um, check out the tour. We'll add the bend modifier to that. Um, you can change the angle, just like you could on the, cylin on the cylinder. Um, you can change the direction. Um, that could kind of result in action if you wanted something kind of funky and organic like that. Um, you can change the bend axis, and you can use that of any object. It could be a good way to start um, just learning how to deform objects. The other thing I want to point out is are these limit effects. Um, the limit effects allows you to control where your control or modifier starts. And st so I can really start to control where does this bend begin. If I want just this part curved and kind of like the tail end straight, um, I can do that. And you can kind of experiment with what you want this to look like. So you're going to see your lower limit down here, your upper limit down here, and that's where your bend is going to be controlled. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these back at zero and uncheck limit effect. You can also do a similar thing by uh, clicking on the gizmo option under bend. So click the plus of the gizmo. Um, you can rotate the gizmo, which will also deform it. Um, you can move it, which will make your bend larger or smaller. Um, also adjust the center of where you want the bend to happen. So that will also change up um, how the tool is going to work for you. So you can see this little gizmo. It's saying that the center of the bend modifier is beginning down here instead of at the bottom of the object. Um, so it's up to you how you'd like to use this modifier. But feel free to expect different shapes, um, and let me know if you have any questions in the comments section.